Hey, what's up? So, uh, here's my conveyor setup. It's pretty similar to that uh, conveyor, the first conveyor I made in Lumber Tycoon 2. I basically just stole the idea from there and uh, made it into this game since the conveyor system is pretty similar. So, uh, I'll tell you how it goes. So, first you unload stuff here, obviously. Then after about like 10 pieces, you can see this area starts to fill up. This is a compactor. Um, it squishes a bunch of small blocks into one big block, which is a lot easier to move around. So I have that connected with a button, and I just press that. And I have a 10 second timer that connects to this light. It's not This part isn't really necessary. The light just flickers when... See, now it's ready. The light just flickers when... Uh, the compactor is ready to compact another set of ore. And you have to compact, uh, once you see this area is starting to fill up, you should press that button. Alright, so I've fully unloaded everything now. You can see this area is starting to fill up. This, the compactor just comes out in these big squares like that. So after this compactor, there's this force field looking thing. Basically, this is just here to help align, uh the big squares onto a single conveyor slot. So if I take one of these squares just to show as an example, uh, it'll basically just get moved there. And then it turns red. And once it's red, it doesn't let anything else go through. So this thing can just fill up here. So it can just fill up like this. And now, at this point, you would want to disconnect your trailer if you have one. And I just have the standard pickup truck. Uh, this would probably work a lot better with a larger truck, but now you press this lever here. And this activates the trap door, which lets the uh, blocks come through. Then once you have about, I don't know, four or five of them, you can uh, press the trap door. I think I've put too many, though. Alright, let me do that again, since I kind of messed it up last time. You just try to align your pickup truck here. Then you press this lever. Then you just count one, two, three, four. That's good. And that's it. Now you can go back to the cell point. Alright, so this is everything you need to build this exact conveyor. You need your furnace here. I guess any type of furnace will work. I just have the... I think this is the basic one. It's the one right after the rusty uh, first furnace you get. Then you need four wires, a lever, a button, a delay, a spotlight, nine angled one by one conveyors, one one by two conveyor you need a trap door you need two of these one by one dots like that and then you need four of these one by four pillars you don't really need um a ton of these supports just like four is fine you can use as many or as little as you want but it just helps a lot when you're placing them and then you need eight of these i think two by four uh, mini wall things. Then you need one of these aligner conveyors, a funnel conveyor, a giant 2x2 two two conveyor, and two giant 2x2 uh, two two turn conveyors, as well as a compactor. So first I just cleared my space. I like to make it in the corner, uh, just to use up less space so I can build more stuff in the middle here. And you have to make sure your compactor is right on the corner like this, right on the edge. Then you take your funnel, you try to align it perfectly like that where it's in the center, and then you just bring it this way. Uh, I think that's good, right there. Now you take your furnace, you make sure the arrow points towards the compactor, and you place that down. Now you take one of these angled conveyors, place that there, and then you take a conveyor support and another angled conveyor. It doesn't really matter if you have conveyor walls on these. I like to have them, uh, but they're pretty cheap. I suggest you get them too. And now you can kind of just keep adding these supports. So now I have two of them here. And you need, I think, four. And now when you're running out of supports, you can just take the support from right under that one. Like that. And I can add another angled conveyor. Now I remove these supports. Then you bring this compactor here, and you put it right at the end of this angled conveyor, just like that. 
So now when there's uh, blocks on this conveyor, it's just going to fall into here. Although it doesn't actually have to go into here, uh, it can land basically anywhere touching this orange part. And now we'll take these 2x4 rectangles and just make a little kind of a containment chamber for my ores so they don't fall out. Actually, I misaligned that. I need to put it just like that. There you go. So next, you take one of these turns. You make sure the edges line up just like this right here. So it's just completely flat right here. Then you take the other turn, place it like that. And you take the 2x4 straight conveyor. Uh, and you... So it should basically just turn like this. Now you take this aligner conveyor. You place that right after the 2x2. And now you have to basically do the same thing you did here with the angled conveyors. So let me grab one. Place it down. Then you grab a support and place another one down. And then you just keep doing this until it is at least five high. All right, so this is the last angled conveyor. Oops. It's one, two, three, four, five angled conveyors tall. Make sure you're using the one by one angled conveyors. You shouldn't use the one by twos because the one by twos actually have a uh, less steep slope. Hold on, wrong conveyor. This one. Let me compare them. So you can see this one by one is a lot steeper than the one by two, which means you use less space to get the same height if you use the one by ones. That makes sense. So then you place, you skip one space, so this is where you would usually put it, and then you just uh, move it once like that, then you stack it to the same height as this one. So I think that's four, right? Uh, oh wait, no, five supports high. And then you place down this straight one by two conveyor, like that. So there you go. Make sure you at least remove the supports from right under the last angled conveyor and right under the straight conveyor here. Or else you won't have room for your truck to go up under. So now you can kind of just leave it like this. But what I like to do is I'll build a little trapdoor system. So place down two pillars on each side. And then a cube on one of the sides. And then you take the trap door and place it down like that. And you have to make sure it opens. So this is opening the wrong way. You have to make sure it opens the other way. So let me rotate it. There you go. So make sure it opens this way. And now you can connect the wiring. I like to put my lever right here and my button right here. Make sure the uh, output wire is facing downwards. Then you take a wire connect that like this i like to make my wiring look nice so there you go that should work yep so this basically just acts as the doorway that uh lets stuff go into your truck and uh this block actually doesn't really matter now that I think about it, you can just, I don't know, place it wherever you want or just get rid of it. And now, in order to connect the button to the uh, compactor, place down some more wires. And make sure the wire connects to this button right here on the compactor or else it won't work. And now again, this is basically finished right now. You can have this, you can have this optional uh, light system here. Basically, the light just tells you when the compactor is ready again. So I'll connect a wire to the button again. And then I have a delay right here. So I'll connect the wire to the delay. And then you make sure it's on 10 seconds here. You can see it's on 10 seconds. Take another wire. Then connect the delay to the light. So after 10 seconds, then this light will flicker on and off. And that's how long the compactor takes to uh, compact.
so it'll tell you when it's ready again. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like it, you can like and subscribe. I don't really mind if you don't. Uh, it would be pretty cool. Uh, let me know in the comments if you uh, have any ideas for this on how to improve it. Uh, or anything else in the comments you want to say, go for it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.